Hello and welcome. Today, I'm doing something different as I will be giving the confirmed and my estimated numbers of the size of Gondor's army during the War of the Ring. Now, there's no better way to start this than with the confirmed number. And it's very easy to get this number as in the chapter titled Minas Tirith, Tolkien gives many numbers of the reinforcements Minas Tirith receives. Quote, but when the men of Lasarnak had passed, they muttered, so few, two hundreds, end quote. And then another quote is, The men of the Ringo Vale behind the son of their lord, Dervarin, striding on foot, three hundreds. From the uplands of Morthond, the great Blackroot Vale, tall Duin here, and his sons, Dwelin and Darufin, and five hundred bowmen. From the Enphalas, the land strand, far away a long line of men of many sorts, hunters and herdsmen, and men of little villages, scantly equipped save for the household of Galaskil, their lord. From Lamadon, a few grim hillmen without a captain. Fisherfolk from the Ithir, some hundred or more spared from the ships. Hiruluin, the fair of the green hills from Penneth Galen, with three hundreds of gallant green-clad men. And the last and proudest, Imrahil, prince of Dol Amroth, and a company of knights in full harness riding gray horses, and behind them seven hundreds of men at arms." End quote. Aragorn also mentions in the chapter The Last Debate 4,000 men are riding north towards Minas Tirith. We also see in the Two Towers, Faramir leads a company of roughly 300 rangers. So that would give us a confirmed number of about 6,400. Of course, Gondor has a greater army than that, but... Seeing how we don't get any more concrete numbers, I will give more educated guesses rather than... The best way to start here would be to determine how big a company is, for it is a commonly used term in Gondor's military. Now, for the sake of argument, I am assuming that when Tolkien says company, when referring to forces and armies, he means a military unit roughly comprised of the same number of troops. And seeing how the Athelian Rangers is the only company that receives a number of soldiers, as Sam in the Two Towers describes seeing two to three hundred men after the battle, we will be going with that three hundred men. I assume that all companies would have had roughly three hundred men. So this would give the Citadel Guards of Minas Tirith at least nine hundred men, for we know that there were at least three companies, seeing how Baragond was a part of the third company. At the start of the war, we also know that there was a company of men in Osgiliath, giving us another 300. The last company that we know of are the Swan Knights, giving us yet another 300. That means that the number of men via companies is 1,500, and adding that in with our confirmed number, we have 7,900 soldiers of Gondor. Now we come to a more difficult part of the video, as the rest of this is more speculation and guessing than anything else. The only bit of evidence I have for this next bit of information is in the chapter Minas Tirith. It is stated by the people of Gondor that, quote, we hoped for ten times that number, end quote. And also, quote, they are sparing only a tithe of their strength, end quote. Now, a tithe is usually considered a tenth of something, though sometimes it can be a greater percentage than that. For this, we will just assume that means a tenth. So if we take these quotes for fact, that would mean that the different fiefdoms would have thousands of men, and you would just multiply each of the original numbers by that 10. Now, however, I will say that because of the frame narrative that the Lord of the Rings is a part of, we don't 
truly know if these statements are the truth or just Gondorians hoping for 10 times the army size. For the sake of arguments, though, we will assume that these are accurate numbers. So from La Sarnac, there are 2,000 men. Ringo Vale would have 3,000 men. From the Black Root Vale, 5,000. Ithir would have 1,000. Penneth Gellin would have 3,000. And lastly, Dol Amroth, there would be 7,000 men. Now, for that number, I'm assuming that the Swan Knights were just a company of knights, not a much larger military unit. So adding all that together, we get 21,000 soldiers. And adding in the company numbers and the men from Lamadon that Aragorn talks about, we get 26,500 soldiers, which I must say would seem more accurate in terms of how scaling works because in three days, the Rohirrim were able to muster up 6,000 men. And in the Unfinished Tales, it's talked about how they could have mustered twice that number, Gondor should easily be able to muster up even more. Now, we're still not done, as we don't know the size of the garrisons at Osgiliath or Kyr Andros. And unfortunately, there is absolutely no information on these garrisons. All we know of the Osgiliath host is that it was not very strong, even after being reinforced by the Athelian rangers. And seeing how Sauron's armies had tens of thousands of men, any army under a thousand would accurately not be very strong. We know a little bit more about the army at Kyr Andros, and only because when Aragorn sent a thousand men to retake Kyr Andros, and he seemed very confident that they should be able to retake it. That, to me, would suggest that the orc force that took Kyr Andros wouldn't be very large, which also probably means that the original host there was relatively small. So, for the sake of this video, we will say Kyr Andros was garrisoned by a thousand men again. That would bump the number up to 28,500 men. So, to recap, the confirmed size of Gondor's army is 6,400 men with Gondor's estimated strength being anywhere from 7,900 all the way up to 28,500. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video. Let me know what you think of my estimations, and feel free to give your own thoughts as well. Feel free to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you, and as the elves say, Namarie.